house out of Detroit's oldest bar, Jacoby's German Beer Garden, 1904. Let's go take a look. Jacoby's Beer Garden, Detroit's oldest saloon. In the late 1800s, Albert Jacoby arrived from his native homeland of Luxembourg and settled in Detroit. First the bartender at local Detroit taverns, then in October 1904 he opened his own place. At that time, the neighborhood was predominantly German. Detroit was settled by French colonists in 1701, first from New Orleans and then Quebec and Montreal, Canada. But by the mid-1800s, many German immigrants started coming to Detroit. Another iconic Detroit brand with German roots is Stroh's Beer. The Stroh family began brewing beer in its family-owned inn during the 18th century in Kern, Germany. In 1849, Bernard Stroh immigrated to the United States. Stroh established his brewery in Detroit in 1850 when he was 28 years old. During Prohibition, Stroh's non-alcoholic items included birch beer, soft drinks, malt products, and ice cream. Most of these items ended when Prohibition ended in 1933, but Stroh's continues to make ice cream today. Stroh's beer was discontinued in the year 2000. Let's travel 90 miles north of Detroit to Frankenmuth, Michigan, known as Michigan's Little Bavaria. Frankenmuth also known for its Bavarian style architecture. A group of settlers left Germany in 1845 and arrived in the United States seven weeks later. They traveled by canals and the Great Lakes from New York to Detroit and arrived in August 1845. Musically speaking, in America, the influence of German immigrants is largely responsible for the rise of symphony orchestras. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.